Hello guys, Termex here, and welcome back to another Wonderlands build video. And now today, I will be going over my Ricochet Warden 2.0. I originally made Ricochet Warden 1.0 back when I hit Chaos 10, but some things have changed since then. Now I will premise I will not be using any bugs, exploits, or glitches within this build. No action start, active skills, or anything like that. We are going to be triple dipping at some times when it comes to some of these bosses, basically meaning the damage formula will take three times the amount of damage from our effects. And that's just kind of something that is unavoidable when you play Spore Warden at the moment because his Play the Angles ability triple dips. But I do want to say this because this is probably one of the best builds I've ever made on this game. Please, please hit that like button real quick, okay? Just real quick, it helps my video get out there cool but anyway we're going into our hero points first so i could explain a lot of this now you see we don't have any stabomancer power because well we don't really need it but it does help if you do have certain things that give stabomancer power but we really want to play the angles damage which is what the spore warden power will provide us which is 59 percent but as for my hero points like i said before we are maxing out on strength and dexterity yes i do know dexterity is bugged within its own rights but at the moment there really isn't many other benefits for this build other than maybe skill cooldown rate but that is really it and like i said before the more damage you get with this build the better because spore warden power will be your main source of ricochet damage and in terms of myth rank i would recommend that when it comes to everything you're going to want to get some fire rate you're going to want magazine size all the basic type of stuff nothing is really needed in terms of some of the categories like intelligence with frost damage and all that though it does help but myth rank is just added benefits on top of any build but going into the skill tree i did make some changes based on the last time we did do this build in terms of spore warden i still did not spec affinity and i want to talk about why i did this now do not get me wrong affinity in its own right is a great skill giving us 35 percent ability damage which actually translates into 15 percent ability damage when played on play of the angles but adding 15 percent damage on top of everything with the damage formula we have in my opinion is just a lot of diminishing returns and i found that my points are better spent in something like called shots now called shot actually gives you damage reduction and gun damage the longer you aim down sights capping out at around 60 percent gun damage and 50 percent damage resistance just for simply aiming down for a long time and with this build when you're aiming down with the pistol that is going to be well all the time so getting 60 percent gun damage from three points in my opinion is a lot better than getting around 15 percent damage just for putting in five points and it's just honestly better spent over into called shot but some important things to point out is eagle eye which will just give us 20 percent gun damage bounty of the hunt which will give us 28 percent action skill cooldown rate every time we get a kill so we could just get our from the shadows just a little bit quicker we also have the spore cloud for the taunts and the spore revivability those are just necessary things i believe when you are running spore warden make survivability 10 times better we have quiver of holding because i believe this is also a must-have makes any gun have a bigger mag and keeps ammo up a lot better then we have windrunner every time we get a kill we get more movement speed and fire rate this is just more of a miscellaneous thing and not really a needed thing but it just makes everything go by a lot smoother and that 24 percent fire rate is honestly insane and you may be wondering why i did not spec into bullseye well if we're trying to get critical hits in shadows we don't really need critical hit chance outside of shadows i'll explain that it's just you don't need critical hits 99 percent of the time because the gun we're using you could just aim it at an enemy and it'll ricochet itself without the need of critical hits though it does help i didn't believe it was worth the five points but now we do have wrath of nature which means every time a target takes ability damage which will be our play the angles on a ricochet they will actually take 108 percent more damage for 12 seconds this is great for bosses this is great for ad control and overall makes whatever ricochet gun you're using so so much better and finally for the spore warden tree we do have headhunter which gives us 25% more gun damage, which is just insane in general. Now over into the Stabomancer tree, we max out Arsenal just for 15% overall bonuses. We also got Haste, so we get more movement speed and melee attack speed. Good with your Goblin Pickaxe when you want to swing it really fast to get your skill back, and we get double these benefits every time we cast a spell. So that's 24% movement speed and 24% more melee attack speed. Of course, we got Potent Poisons for the 40% status effect duration and the 20% bonus damage. And then finally, exploit their weaknesses, so every time someone has a status effect, each status effect effect increases our overall damage by 6%. Easy to get this up to 12% or even 18%. And then I pop the last two points into sneak attack, just giving us 6% bonus critical hit damage because I am trying to make up for that minus 25% critical hit damage that from the shadows takes away from you just in trade off for getting guaranteed critical hits. And you may be asking, why is the melee swing speed even that important? Well, with the goblin pickaxe, every time you melee something, you get action skill cooldown rate and it stacks up to five times and we swing pretty fast with this perk. But even then, let me just pop in the fade away and run it out. Our melee melee isn't that slow. I mean, in general, the goblin pickaxe does swing pretty fast, but the fact we have this perk makes it even faster. And then when we pop our spell, we will actually get even faster melee swings, which is ridiculous. And you could see that your melee swings are nutty. 
But we're not going to get the goblin pickaxes effect in the targeting range, unfortunately. It only works on normal enemies. But I do want to mention when it comes to the gear, we are using the handbow of the Riveteer once again with a on spell cast increased damage dealt. This is going to be your main bossing weapon. It does work with some badasses and enemies, but mainly this is for your huge guys. Then next up, we have the Fragment Rain. This is a great, great SMG that doesn't have an anointment or enchant rather, and you don't really need one. This is a stat stick, and if you want to put in a chance on it, go right ahead. It will do a little bit more damage, but you're not focusing on this to do your damage. I'll probably roll one before I pop it into a save file in the description below for you PC players, but this is more of a stat stick. When you pop it a fadeaway and you hit crits with the ricochets, all the bullets will ricochet and freeze a bunch of other targets. Don't mind me dying to a... Uh, cryo pool but that's the main purpose of it you're not really doing damage with it you're just trying to hit crits so those ricochets hit other targets which in turn do more damage when we have a king crab here i'm not going to kill the king crab but if i shoot this other king crab and get those critical hit ricochets i am going to kill him but i'm not going to kill the thing i'm shooting so if you shoot at the thing you don't want to die it will kill everything else around it which is very powerful and that alone can signify putting on an enchant and for your single target enemies that you can't really ricochet off of i threw in a volatile smg this is a great smg it's a 105 times 4, plus it has the enchants on spell cast, you deal 30% bonus cryo damage. It basically just shoots like this, and if you have a single target enemy you have an issue with, just pop this into him and you'll be fine. And like I said before, we have the goblin pickaxe, and this enchant has on spell cast, increase our gun damage by 30% for 10 seconds. As for the rings, we do have bonus gun damage rings, which I think is amazing. Now with this ring, we actually have on ward not full, we gain double the 19%, so that is around a 40% gun damage boost just for not having a full shield. And this pairs great with our shield shield because when our shield is depleted we gain up to 100% increased damage to nearby enemies and with the enchant we gain 40% bonus gun critical hit damage for the next 10 seconds. Now for my other ring it is a 17% gun damage with some okay skills. I do have action skill duration which is great for fadeaway but dealing damage to a boss increases the effects of this by 100% so actually we are getting 34% damage out of this ring when it comes to shooting a boss. For the class mod we actually have a class mod I want to give some props to the homie Chadley. He has this class mod and i just want to let you know where i got it from i'm not going to use other people's gear and then not shout them out for it but this gives us plus three on our wrath of nature which gives us a bonus damage but our total critical hit damage is increased by 50 percent but the critical hit chance is reduced by 50 percent but that doesn't apply to us because when we go into from the shadows we get guaranteed critical hits so this is just a great class mod in terms of rolls and raw critical hit damage dealt for my amulet it's been the same gun reload speed and all damage dealt is great with some spore warden power and fire damage and then and finally, of course, I know we have the buff meisters. In terms of gun damage builds, buff meisters are just king and getting different on action skill start annoyance. Like this on action skill start annoyance gives us 40% bonus gun damage for 10 seconds. We have no anointment stacking. I do want to point that out. If you have two of the same anointments equipped, you will not get bonus benefits. So if I run on action skill start, increase gun damage by 40% on my buff meister and my shield, it's not going to stack. So you want to mix match your enchantments so you're not overlapping them and minimizing your damage. But other than that, I have some other fun guns in here. Some of them are just broken. Some of them that I didn't want to include because it didn't really fit the theme, but they are fun to use. But if you want this exact build that you've seen here today, you can download my PC save file, which is in the description below, or it's in my Discord if you're already in my Discord. This build is honestly a lot of fun. I mean, the whole premise of it is going to be get your shield broken so you get that 100% increased damage, the 40% increased gun critical hit damage from the cursed wit, pop into your fade away alongside your buff meister, and just go ham on enemies and just do a crap ton of damage and keep this gun shooting and shooting and you're gonna be fine but like i said before if you go to a boss you want to use this smg right here hit the ricochets on a ad and get those ricochets on that boss so they can get that 108 percent wrath of nature debuff so you can melt those bosses in seconds but if you guys really do enjoy my videos it really means a lot when you click that like button down below and subscribe so you never miss out on another video from me if you guys do want to join my discord link is in the description below that has all my safe files other things talk to me personally ask me any questions you need to but you guys have a terrific day and i will see you guys later